all know Disney, the movies we were shoved down our throats as kids, and most of us are still fond of the company today. We associate it with lovable characters, trust, stability, which was the intent of the company to start with. Disney was intended to be a household name, a trusted one, that could not be tampered with, one that suspicions would never form under. However, if you are able to put aside those memories sewn into your brain for a moment and look past the fog glass. You will start to see some very concerning, strange, mysterious and angering things with Disney. Disney is a true treasure trove when it comes to conspiracy theories, but I will try my best today to cover as much as I can. This video took a good amount of searching, and I will most likely have more video going in deeper into Disney if asked. That being said, let's make our way down the rabbit hole of Disney, much like Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. A quick search around, and anyone can dig up troves of theories regarding Disney movies. However, the few I wish to discuss today weren't the easiest find. Let's start with Alice in Wonderland. This particular movie is theorized to have connections with MK Ultra in the way of showing a young girl begin to disassociate from the world around her. Many people the White Rabbit to be a symbol of MK Ultra because of this. Such a symbol can be found in multiple music videos. This being a key factor in those who are subject to the program, along with the development of alters combined with the abuse from handlers. As we see demonstrated by many celebrities in Hollywood. The Lion King is also chock full of hidden influences, majority of the ones that have been found are ones correlating to sex, I will include a few highlighted ones below. The Lion King is not the only Disney movie to have hidden symbols, The Little Mermaid is another good example. Of course, there was also a teaser released for Tangled which was also decoded. Even the Disney logo is said to clearly contain the 666. Now, with all these examples, we can clearly see Disney's true intentions with these movies. Of course, there are likely many more sick intents as well. Club 33 is a hidden gem at Disney World, if you haven't already heard of it. But what is so mysterious about this, so-called club, that made it appear in this discussion? Well, for starters, the 33 could be a reference to the 33 degree of Freemasonry. The highest degree there is, along with most celebrities or influencers being high ranking in this field. It is also rather suspicious, because Walt Disney himself is said to be of this degree. The club was opened June 15, 1967, just six months before Disney's death. Club 33 isn't an easy club to access either, with an initiation fee of $100,000, along with $25,000 for registration and annual dues of $15,000. The club truly is a playground for the elite, for those who are able to sneak a glance, the Masonic black and white checkerboard floor is in plain view. And tells exactly what the club stands for. There is not a designated logo for the club however, there was one that was released on Twitter, but the post was deleted, not so long after. Disney loved the idea of a perfect society, along with Epcot, celebration was a failed attempt at Disney going into the housing industry. Many joined the town sharing Disney's vision of living on Main Street USA, but were surprised to find that the town's crime rate was actually high, and it wasn't a perfect town. Not to mention the several housing issues which remained due to the hasty construction. The hasty construction being due to the pressure from Disney, the town was also forced to follow Disney's strict design standards. Continuing about Disney's strict design standards, I am sure we are all aware of Disney's designs, full of that forced happiness and cheer. But what kind of psychological effects would that bring people? Celebration answers that question with its high crime rate, there's a few particular stories that stuck out to me in my research however. One about a mailman that had a breakdown after being confronted by his boss about stamp regulations, the breakdown ensued of senseless screaming and plain out rambling. That wasn't the only thing experimental psychology wise in celebration however. The schooling was also experimental, with combined age groups as well as large numbers of students classrooms have not seen before. Some classes containing up to 80 plus students, and only one or two teachers. This method of schooling combined with the constantly cheery atmosphere, did not have a very pleasing final result on the children as you can imagine. Now, this all could have been with a large population of celebration, as many wanted to live there once finding out about Disney's involvement because of this celebration became a lottery for its official citizens. All in all, the making and running of the town was pure chaos with the illusion of order. 
As most celebrities' deaths are, Waltz was also a mystery. And of course, attracted great attention. Disney was said to die with lung cancer at age at age 65. Many believe that he was cryogenically frozen and was to be brought back from the dead. Of course, this leads to theories of cloning centers, etc. They say he was cremated however, many believe that Disney was indeed frozen, bringing forth the movie, Frozen, to cover his tracks. That way if people were to search Disney Frozen the movie would come up, instead of the actual information, although that is a bit far-fetched in my eyes. Walt's spirit is said to still linger among the Disney parks, specifically where his old office used to be, many employees tell mysterious tales regarding the lights always turning on and off at varying times, sometimes footsteps being heard as well. Could these be more tall tales regarding ghosts at Disney or perhaps something more? The Haunted Mansion ride is also said to be haunted, as well as some particular parts of park grounds, due to many visitors spreading their loved ones' ashes, although most are cleaned up, this all bit concerning. I am sure we are all familiar with Mickey's bright yellow dog, Pluto. However, could there be more to the name than just random choice? Yes actually, as the planet Pluto is often seen having demonic and or satanic themes to it, tied in with witchcraft and sorcery. Pluto being the earlier name for the Greek god of Hades. Which we know corresponds to the underworld and Satan. Disney is actually the second largest purchaser of explosives in the US next to the Department of Defense. Due to fireworks counting under this category, overall that is understandable if you think about it like that. However, they could just as well be stockpiling actual explosives, since the statistic is very vague in general. Epcot contains a lot of other hidden tidbits about it, but I will cover a few quickly. Epcot's American Pavilion is actual home to an American flag that supposedly came from 9-11's rubble, which we all know about. Epcot was originally a planned ideal community, much like Miracle Village, just adding on to the creepy obsession of Disney-loving utopias. The Utilitors are a system of underground tunnels that span the Disney parks, they function as a backstage area for the staff, supposedly and even offer tours, as if to lessen suspicions, to make matters more interesting, they were originally a concept only in Epcot. Their purpose too in this planned community was to transfer waste out of side and underground. Similar to the Google City which will be built in Canada soon. I personally, do not ever wish to find out what true filth takes place in these tunnels. As one walks around Disney, they will discover the numerous amounts of different scents throughout the parks. Disney painted a particular invention to distribute these unique smells called air smellisters. Therefore, the air you breath in Disney isn't even meant to be natural oxygen. The air is flooded with chemicals to induce certain emotions and effects in people. Whether it's hunger or sadness, it's all about control in Walt's bubble of utopia. Not to mention this could be used against us in the future. Walt Disney was not satisfied with the fake props of bones and skulls when constructing the Pirates of the Caribbean, therefore he naturally wanted real ones. He got his wish when he contacted the UCLA Medical School and was able to acquire some actual specimens for the ride. Of course, who knows what unknown horrors lurk in the prop section of Disney. This of course, combined with the dumping with ashes on park grounds as I mentioned beforehand. All of us have known Disney from birth, and were taught to adore, love, respect and trust it, without question. We never look past our foggy childhood memories to the aspect of truth that lingers just out of reach, we must learn to take the leap of faith and achieve it. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This was everything inside me channel, see you on the next videos.